So in order to work with power inside of Microsoft Windows 10, you can actually go over here on to the Windows icon, that is the Start menu, and click on it. Here you can see that there's the Power option. So once you click on Power option, that you can see that there are three options available to you. One is Sleep, the other one is Shutdown, and the other one is Restart. So let's start with the shut Shutdown, and it says, as you can see here, once I hover over, it says it closes all of the apps and turns off the PC, meaning it closes all the apps that are running. And once you click on it, it'll totally turn off the computer. So nothing is running. No power consumption is happening right over there. But you need to be sure that all of your apps are, are closed or sometimes the, some of the apps stops you from shutting down the computer. That is because the app might be working out with some processes which cannot be uh, stopped. The other option you have is restart. That is, it essentially shuts down the computer and then restarts it without having you to manually click on the power button, just like that. So this is useful when, it, you, when you install some of the applications. So uh, which requires a PC to be rebooted or restarted, then you use this option to quickly restart your computer. The other option you have is sleep. That means essentially when you put a computer to sleep, it actually gets it into a standby mode, meaning that none of your hardwares are working except for your RAM. So your RAM is being powered up, all your memory stays intact, all your applications which are open stays intact, and the processor stays intact. So it's just like it is going into a standby mode. So only your memory is being powered up. So it's a very low power consumption from your computer side, your processor, your hard disk, uh, your graphic card, mother, um, not the motherboard, essentially everything as a ma ma major components that take power actually is uh, not working. So when you power uh, the computer back on up, since the RAM is already fully loaded with all of the apps and uh, yeah, the processes you're, you're working with, so uh, it quickly instantly turns up. So let's say you're going on to a presentation, you have your PowerPoint, you just uh, want to get to the um, uh, presentation area and quickly give a presentation, you don't have time to start up the computer, you put your computer into the sleep mode. So the other option you have is hibernate, but you don't see any power option right here. So in order to access the power option, you can actually go under settings right over here. Here, So let me just click on settings. And over here, let me go to system where it says display, sound, notification and power. So let me click on system right here. And over here on the left side, uh, there is the power and sleep option. So let me just click on it right over here. So what we're going to see right now is how to turn on the hibernation. So I'm going to go over here onto the right side and here you can see additional power settings. Once I click on it, it opens up control panel for me as you can see right here. And now I want to go on to the section called what does the power button do? So you can see that this is the shutdown setting. So all of these three are ticked on. So lock, that means Lock is on, sleep is on, and fast startup, and all of these are on right now. I want to enable hibernation as well. Right now, it's disabled, so you need to give it admin privileges. So to give it admin privileges, you can actually go over here or under the shield-like icon and click on this text. And now you can see that you can change the shutdown settings. I'm just going to enable the hibernate option right here and I'm going to save the changes right over here. Once I save the changes and close it around, let me just close uh, everything out over here. And from the start menu, now if I were to go over here, you'll, able, you'll be able to see the hibernate option. So what hibernate option essentially is, is uh, instead of uh, running the RAM in low power, it actually copies the RAM contents onto your hard disk drive for a temporary period. So it doesn't have to fully start up your computer next time you press the power uh, on button so all of your apps uh, which are on the, um, the uh, with the processes are uh, saved from ram to your hard disk drive so once you open up your computer it actually loads the uh, hard disk the ram content from the hard disk back onto the ram and then uh, uh, reruns the computer for you so you're not totally shutting down your computer you're just temporarily putting it into a hard sleep meaning it is it's just like in a sleep mode, but the RAM is not powered. All of the content of the RAM is actually kept on your hard disk drive. So that is essentially what Hibernate is. So these are the four power options. So you 
do not actually always need to shut down your computer you only need to do it for major updates like restart so you can keep your computer in hibernate which actually uh, lets it start faster or just, just keep it in sleep mode especially if you use a laptop because uh, you can just keep it in sleep and open it up and use it whenever you want you do not actually have to uh, restart everything out when you keep it to sleep so these are the four power options inside of microsoft windows 10 so hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe